My words to define Cambodia are poignant. Uh, people who've risen almost from the, from the absolute depths of despair to a joy in life. The Cambodia is a big difference between rich and poor. Rich are becoming richer and richer, and the poor is becoming poorer and poorer. Un país que dentro del corazón guarda como unas cenizas de, de dolor por la guerra. O sea, esas heridas que están en el interior siguen ahí, eh, siguen ahí. La guerra los ha destrozado, ha dividido a las familias, ha, ha causado una distancia en la pobreza también. Y, y estamos deseando que la gente vuelva a relacionarse, las familias queden otra vez unidas. La guerra nos ha dejado un país desestructurado, lleno de gente con grandes necesidades, pero con necesidades muy básicas, como el alimento, el trabajo, la salud, la educación. I think that we have a very poor health service because uh, since the people came back from poor time, everything was destroyed. Not many um, doctor left, and so we have to start everything again. It means that we have to train the doctor again, to train the nurses, and then build up again the system of health. The main problem for us, uh, we have a lot of uh, the poor family. They don't have enough of food, or the food is not nutritious enough, so they have a lot of disease. And now more and more we can see cancer. For TB, they can have a treatment, but for cancer, it's very difficult to have a treatment because uh, the treatment is very expensive. The real situation is not like, okay, they have been built many school, many hospitals, but they don't bring a lot of, like, they don't give a good salary to the teacher, they don't give a good teacher to the countryside. They just build, you see, many, in the countryside, they build many high school, many school, but just no, no teacher. And some of the school is closed. <laughs> Con el desarrollo viene todo, viene lo bueno y lo malo. Viene el dinero a desarrollarnos, pero viene también toda la corrupción, viene todo lo indeseable como puede ser el turismo sexual o toda esa gente de negocios que viene aquí porque estamos en un país que está medio desarrollado, las leyes no funcionan del todo y entonces la gente se aprovecha. ¿no? A la vez tenemos gente que viene a invertir, que tenemos fábricas, hay nuevos hoteles, hay nuevos puertos de trabajo y esto sí que, sí que nos hace sentir el desarrollo. <risa> រដ្ឋាភិបាលដូចជាមិនសូវចាប់អារម្មណ៍គឺធ្វើឲ្យនេតុនអ្នកដែលមានត្រព្យសម្បត្តិមានអំណាចមានលុយគឺមានអំណា
porque, por ejemplo, en Camboya en pocos años vamos a tener un paro que no sé cómo se va a absorber esa fuerza de trabajo que va a tener entre 18 y 25 años, que va a ser el grupo mayoritario de Camboya, dónde se van a crear esos puestos de trabajo, con lo cual vamos a tener un problema eh, muy grande de, de, de falta de empleo. Pero yo creo que la gente en Camboya está cansada de guerra, quiere paz y va a buscar los medios posibles para que eh, todos se eh, realicen el entendimiento. ¿no? I have a dream that the ethical vacuum in the country and the, and the interior emptiness that you somehow see when people are uh, almost lusting for money and lusting for power, uh, that that's, that's causes me some concern. But I, I'm one of these people who think that where sin abounds, grace abounds the more, and in the end, good will triumph over evil. <laughs>